Hi all, I'm Dan Smegrod, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. Today is Monday, March 23rd, 2020, and uh, you're watching WGAN-TV Town Hall. Uh, it's a live show, uh, how Matterport service providers are coping with COVID-19, with the coronavirus. And uh, 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 I think I was, maybe we'll start with uh, uh, Colin and uh, let's see, uh, uh, Colin, uh, your service provider business, Home Takes, West Palm Beach. Um, how are you coping? Um, well, to be honest with you, um, looking at the bookings that we've got this week, um, it, it doesn't seem to have uh, affected us thus so far. I say that so far. Um, quite often, at the beginning of the week, we can get cancellations, but we can also get um, more um, tours booked. So at the moment, it doesn't look like it's uh, affected us, but I, I, I say that with caution and hesitation because uh, I just can't see, I cannot see it not affecting us in some way, um, either this week or next week. Do you, do you think that you're getting a little bit of a, a little bit more business? Uh, you're in Florida. There's, it uh, looks like you may be in a, um, stay in place kind of um, uh, uh, state at some point here. Uh, do you think you're getting a little bit of? I'm not getting any more business. I'm not getting any less at the moment. Now, not with this business, the business behind me, photo and video edits, um, we're really busy. Um, that that's, that's a whole different kettle of fish. Right, this, so... is, this is your other business, photoandvideoedits.com. Uh, providing photo editing service. Uh, do, do you think that the additional business is to photo and video edits.com is, is a result of? Uh, Absolutely. No question about that. None, none whatsoever. Uh, matter of fact, we picked up a, we picked up a client specifically that he's, he told me that uh, the company he was using uh, shut his doors overnight, no warning, no nothing. And just said, Oh, we're not doing any edits uh, at the moment. And um, it was a pretty big customer, four to 5,000 edits per, per month. And uh, now it was a pretty big client to pick up. Right. Specifically said, I came to you because my, my current provider just closed its doors without warning. Okay, all right. Uh, well, no, no one likes to e exploit uh, uh, this this coronavirus, um, but if you're going to pick up some business, that's some good news for you. Um, you know, for those that are you know you know just tuning in, uh, if you want to join us on the program, simply go to wgan-tv.com. There's a a player in the right hand side. You'll see a link. It says Join the Town Hall Live, and uh, you can join our discussion here. Um, and uh, uh, gentlemen, I, I know we're going to have, a, uh, I think, at least one lady that's going to be joining us, but I'm, it, when I get done with my questions, I want to turn around and ask you what questions you have for everybody. So why don't we, you know, give some thought of what you'd like to ask. Um, wh whose business is, is, is uh, suffering at the moment? Interesting. Okay. So maybe we'll start with you, Kevin. Uh, uh, Kevin uh, Dole, uh, your business is Home 3D uh, in... Uh, greater Los Angeles area. Tell us, uh, how are you coping with COVID-19? What's going on for you? There, there are certainly more calls coming in from agents that are considering searching for virtual tours because it's been talked about a lot in the press. Uh, both Los Angeles and California are under lockdown orders from uh, Mayor Garcetti and Governor Newsom. Uh, and basically they're saying all non-essential services should stop. Um, there's been a lot of talk uh, from brokerages and uh, such about what is essential, what isn't. Banking, of course, is considered essential. Uh, therefore, one of the notices from uh, Berkshire Hathaway was that uh, escrow and things like that can go forward because it's a banking issue, but open houses should definitely stop, period. Uh, In-person showings of homes should stop, period. Uh, one of the notices from uh, Keller Williams uh, 
Amy, I, I've got these things here. Uh, said, for, for example, property management and repair work, which generally involves maintaining sanitary and safety conditions is permissible. Additionally, many other aspects of the real estate industry can continue to occur without in-person contact, including documentation and signing. And in many so, circumstances, so what, what's, your, what's your take as a Matterport service provider business? Are, are you- I'm, I, I am, uh, I don't think in the, in the governor's, uh, in the governor's definition, I don't think there's anything in real estate that's essential aside from uh, maybe banking transactions and, and certainly health and safety. Um, like if an apartment suddenly was discovered to have, uh, you know, hor horrific mold or something, you know, it would be considered a safety issue to either get the people out or, or have remediation uh, uh, undergoing. I have done, over the weekend I did, uh, uh, on each of Saturday and Sunday, I shot tours. Um, one was a, a, a vacant house that nobody's been in for weeks. And the agent gave me the lockbox code and I just went in and shot and went back out. Uh, yesterday, I shot a home, uh, Matterport in this instance, um, where the owner opened it up for me. Uh, the single person that lives there by themselves opened it up for me. I shot the whole place and then they closed it up. So uh, have you been busier? Um, I, I am quite busy and I don't really know what to expect or how to interpret it because there is no, I mean, nobody from the governor's level has come down and said, hey, if you're if you're a real estate photographer, stay home. <laughs> or if you're a real estate photographer and you can shoot properties entirely solo with no other people around, uh, it's okay. You know, uh, I my own interpretation certainly is that what we do is not an essential service. Um, let's face it. I mean, the, the world is not going to stop if we're we're not uh, shooting homes. The the, the the, the sale of homes is going to stop if we don't shoot them, but uh, but I don't I don't think anyone outside of our industry would consider what we do to be essential. Uh, a photographer working for the police doing crime crime reporting maybe that's essential, but I don't okay. think what we do is. But at the same time, at the same time, our our services, if if we can perform our services solo, we're certainly not. Uh, 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 we're not exposing ourselves to the same level of uh, uh, health threat, if you will, uh, that many other uh, jobs are. All right. Let me come back to you, Kevin. Uh, how about uh, um, Ross, Ross and Jucci, uh, 3D Roomscapes. You're in Grays Lake, Illinois. I think your coverage area includes uh, all the way down to Chicago and some of Wisconsin. Yeah, we're in... We're in, in I were in the, you know, stay at home situation here, which just took place uh, Saturday night is when it went into effect. Um, you know, I've been busy. I'm busy today. I've got, I got shoots all week this week, every day this week. So, um, you know, I kind of look at it as if they're, People, there's people still have to sell homes. There may be instances where the ones that I'm doing now, I think this week, are not new ones. Are ones that are on the market. Maybe they have contingencies, or whatever, and they still have people that somebody has to. They still need to be shown, and they're realizing this is the only way to do it. So, because um, I am getting a couple of new clients out, of, I have gotten a couple of new clients for that reason only. You know. So. Uh... So these are literally new clients that you got. Uh, is this before the shelter in place order? Just a couple. Yeah, yeah both of them before that, but I think everybody knew that was coming. So, um, and it was talked about. So, um, but that was just a few days ago. So yeah, those booked a couple days uh, before the order and a couple that I have this week are from a steady client that I have. So that's where I'm at right now. Okay. Uh, cool. Thank you. Um, Angus Norris, uh, Imagineer, consulting in Petersboro, England. So you're outside of London. Um, Angus, what's been your experience? How are you uh, coping with COVID? 
Uh, okay, so uh, we just saw the Boris Johnson, uh, Prime Minister of the UK, get off uh, the uh, basic broadcast to the nation. We're, we're three weeks in front of you. You've got to close down, you've got to stop shop. It's going to spread and kill elderly people. If you continue to scam, uh, you want to kill others. That's the facts. You've got to stay at home, okay? Stay with your family. You only go home. Uh, we stay at home, you only go out to shop or exercise singularly. You guys have got hundreds of thousands of cases because you don't have tests, okay? I'm afraid uh, it's ignorance on many fronts. We're learning from Italy. We're learning from Spain. My son is in Barcelona. I'm not going to see him for three months, okay? We need to lock down and shut shop. Going to homes with our cameras is infecting people. You're going to affect them and it's going to carry on the army are on the streets tomorrow in the uk i know that because my brother-in-law runs the army in scotland it's shut down unless you guys follow suit and listen to europe you've got to see that business is over we're not protecting anyone by going out with our cameras stay at home when, I'm sorry. When uh, thank you for that. Thank you for letting us know what uh, the Prime Minister of the UK just uh, announced on television. Um, uh, wh when did you stop shooting? Two weeks ago. Two, two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, and have you been getting calls and requests to, to do I offended my wife. My wife has coronavirus. She is infected because what I shot in London. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, guys, you're going to affect your, L your, your family. Sorry, guys. You is, know, is, is, your, is your wife, uh, uh, how is she doing? She's going to be okay. She's five days in. But uh, guys, you know, if you're in the 70 plus bracket, be very careful. Even 40, I'm 45 with asthma. I'm vulnerable. Very vulnerable. You know, I, I think I'm the youngest guy, I don't know, other than you, Colin. I'm 45. Um, you know, we're all vulnerable. We're, we are in the zone. And is, is your wife still in the house with you? Yeah, we're isolating. We're quarantined, we're isolated. We haven't left, left the house for 10 days. 10 days, yeah. yeah. And, yes. uh, and you mentioned your, your son, How, how's he doing in Barcelona? Uh, well, he's not allowed to walk the dog. In fact, when they walk the dog, there, there's drones on the streets policing. Drones are policing the streets. Hmm. Okay, guys, so, I know you, everyone just watches CNN, but straight from the UK, straight from the source, okay? It's crazy. It's, it's a killer. It's a wake-up call. Angus, before I move on to, to Chris, uh, is uh, uh, anything else you want to share at the moment? No, I mean, it, it's, um, it, it is a wake-up call. It's going to change everyone. It's going to change up. It's, I thought we were out there to save people by doing things virtually, and it'd be great to think that I can get to a construction site or an architect, you know, to help people scan uh, and access things remotely, and I will do my best. But, on, you know, if, if I'm not wearing an all-in-one and a swan vesta and a mask, uh, I can get fined by the police. I can get fined if I leave my house by the police, mm -hmm. as of today, as of 30 minutes ago. Is that across uh, the UK, or is that in the greater London area? Across the UK. Boris Johnson said the police have now got powers to fine us if we leave our home for any other good reason to buy food or exercise as one. So if I'm, if I'm having a walk down the road, you know, with uh, a few mates, we all get a fine. So I'm not going many places with my camera right now. Yes, plus we hear you with uh, the, the asthma, so, so be safe. Hey, Chris, yeah. how about uh, introducing yourself, your company, and where you're located? Oh, I'm sorry, I have you on mute, uh, or I, I can't hear your audio. Uh, so can you start your audio? So why don't you keep working at that? Uh, I'm gonna unmute it. Let's see if I unmute it. Uh, now I'm having trouble unmuting. Now try. No, nope, we can't hear you, unfortunately. Can't, Chris can't hear you. So. Uh, why, don't, why don't you see what you can do there? Um, we'll, we'll move on to, it says GPM44. Uh, uh, please introduce yourself, uh, your name, where you're from, and uh, the name of your, your business and where, where you're located. 
Sure. Uh, Gordon Martell, located in uh, southwest Virginia, uh, around the Carolina border. Name of the company is Showcase Your Properties. Do the uh, Matterport uh, 3D along with uh, drone technology. Uh, great. And uh, Gordon, how are you coping with uh, COVID? Well, it's uh, the governor today uh, in the state of Virginia announced uh, closing the schools for the rest of the year, K through 12. Um, uh, all restaurants, barbershops, uh, fitness centers, um, you know, those types of business, tattoo shops, uh, hair salons uh, to be closed for at least 30 days. Um, I've talked to a few realtors uh, in this area. Uh, some real estate offices have shut down uh, again. But basically, you know, we still have the, the rule in place, no more than 10 people at a gathering. Grocery stores are open. Um, you know, the, the social distancing, uh, uh, asking us to stay, uh, had a couple of meetings, uh, with some business owners, uh, about doing some stuff with Matterport as far as, uh, if they're a small restaurant or you know, they can do takeout, they can't have people come in, but they can still do takeout and deliveries, uh, about doing a 3d tour. People can walk through like a small market and see what's on the shelves, order it, and then stop by and, and pick it up on a, or, or have it delivered to them. So. Um, you know, look at some different different ways to help those folks out. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, thanks, Gordon. Have, Chris, uh, can we try you again, see if we got audio? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. Thank you. Have, Chris, how about introducing yourself, your company name, and uh, where you're located? All right, guys. So my name's Chris Keevy. I'm located uh, outside of Buffalo, New York. So I serve the Western New York market. We're seven hours from New York City. So um, things are starting to get happening here. So my business is Realty Picks 360. Um, so I just actually been starting in this business, um, getting my feet wet now. My mother's been in the real estate business for 40 years, but I was in automotive digital for about 25 helping dealers succeed online. So I did well. So I'm trying to merge my experience. So, uh, so I found, I created a little hack, um, in the interim, uh, for real estate people that want to do an open house. And I'm going to put a, put together a little video and a lot of people from the, um, WGAM form have reached out to me. Um, complimenting me or whatever, but I, 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 just, I think it's just simple ingenuity. Um, so what I did guys is, uh, is I created a virtual tour hack for real estate agents that want to present an open house in a, like a live format, but using um, tools such as Zoom, okay? And also using your Matterport tour. Um, so I, ideally what would happen is somebody would get the invite code, they'd be invited to this type of presentation. Instead of looking at everybody's picture, we'd be looking at the screen. So, so let me back up a second here. So the, the re prerequisites to do this little open house, virtual open house hack is I recommend a Matterport tour. I'm a Matterport service provider. So that's the tour that I use for the actual virtual open house. Uh, I have that page open. And I also start at the actual listing page for the realtor or realtor.com or Redfin, doesn't matter, right? Um, but we want to start somewhere. So, um, so what happens is uh, I did the test with my mother. I sent her an invite code, okay? She's 70 plus years old. She's not really technically savvy. Um, so she opened the link successfully. I had her try it on her cell phone first. She couldn't get it to work. So I had her go to her laptop. She opened her email and the Zoom conference started. I think she had to quickly download the software, but that's pretty fast. They've really worked on that, right? So what happens is the, uh, the virtual tour starts. Um, it's like, like this Zoom uh, conference we're having right now. Um, I'm up in the um, top, top corner and then she enters the room and there she is. And so I introduced myself to her. So this is what other realtor agents might be able to do or stuff you can pass in into the field. And I think it's a quick hack. So the virtual tour starts, I basically start on the listing page, introducing myself, maybe building some commonality. She could be the only person in the room. There could be four or five people, you never know. Um, and then I basically just structure the conversation like when I was in car sales, you know, more basic information, a little bit of qualifying, then pretty much hop right into the test drive, which is go to the next screen. And then I have a bunch of different tools that I have accessible with the virtual tour. I have uh, my highlight reel, Okay, I have the dollhouse effect. I have all these little scintillating eye candy things that they, they're never gonna see on a normal real estate webpage, right? Um, and then I kind of conducted the tour of her like, like ad hoc. Um, she had some questions. I was able to detail in, in the cabinets in the kitchen a little bit. Um, I was able to ask 
for um, the appointment to set up a private showing. Um, but I basically accomplished a lot of the things that you're normally can, an agent might do in an open house. Um, you know, a lot of times people want to be just kind of let on their loan and go about the house. Um, I don't think my mother sells that way. I don't think I would either, but if somebody wanted to do that. So okay. it, it's a simple hack and um, be happy to give you some more information. And Yes, uh, Chris, I know you posted in the, the We Get Around Network forum for those watching on our YouTube channel, WGANforum.com. You started a, a, a great discussion on the topic. I'm visual myself. I definitely need to see a video to, to help uh, visualize the Matterport tour meets Zoom. So nice. that, that would be awesome if you could uh, put together a little video and post it uh, to that discussion. I'll have it up tonight. Awesome. Uh, it, before I, I, kinda... I, did, I did shoot it, but it was like 3.8 gigabytes and it was too big. So I trimmed it, I shut off the 4K and kind of simplify things because I tend okay. to talk a little bit too much. Cool. I think before I go around and ask about uh, some tips and, and such, uh, um, uh, June just joined us. Uh, I want to say uh, June prior um, priority 3D reality photography in Ontario, Canada. Uh, June, we can't see your picture, but uh, maybe you could tell us uh, a little bit how you're coping with COVID. Well, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so um, I live in a small town, actually a subdivision of a small town, and Basically, there's nothing happening here. They're they're even they're shutting down everything starting tomorrow night at midnight on in Ontario. Everything, anything unnecessary is being completely shut down. So, um, luckily, our government is allowing people that are um, independent contractors to still collect unemployment insurance. So. I'm hoping to get that. I haven't called the, there's a special number for you to call. So I'm hoping that I can still get that, but yeah, there, it's completely dried up here, nothing. So, so what are you doing with your time? Knowing that you can't go out, you're not going out. And uh, I think if we all heed Angus's uh, direction there, don't go out, or at least don't go out unless you need food or have it delivered. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing with your time? Well, uh, mostly just uh, cleaning <laughs> and uh, learning, watching. I took a couple courses to learn some stuff, um, but yeah, catching up on that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can grab Ross just before he uh, takes off. I know he needed to go shortly. Ross. Uh, yes, uh, I got to take off, sorry. What, what, what kind of tips do you have for those Matterport service providers wondering what to do with their downtime? What is it, what is it that you're doing? Well, I'm doing a lot of uh, uh, social media marketing, putting a lot of stuff on social media tours and uh, just self-promoting right now. I mean, there's not a whole lot more you can do. So that that's the, when things come back, you already want to plant the seed about doing 24-7 uh, virtual open houses. Uh, yeah, and I, I kind of, I, I honestly think that one, when this is over, that it's going to wake people up to, I don't think open houses are going to be as, as what they were before. I think it's going to change people's thinking of that. And I think People are going to start thinking about these 3D tours a lot more. So that's my hope. Who knows? You know. Any, any questions you want to ask of the, the, the your uh, colleagues across the? I you know, I'm, I'm wondering if any Matter pro providers are wearing masks or gloves when they go into homes right now, or they just you know I know uh, Norris has completely stopped, but you know at some point, at some point, the economy is going to. I mean. There's going to have to be a decision made. Is it the economy or is it the health of the people? I mean, if there's no economy when this is over, what good was it? Just, <laughs> I mean, there, there's a tipping point somewhere, and I don't know where that is, but it seems like it's going to be coming sooner than later. So, um, well, I'll just have to see where everybody's at at that point and uh, hope it works out for the best for everybody. It, there's it's so much unknown. I have no idea how to even advise anybody right now because there's just too much okay who's got it's all just it's just all speculation we're all just guessing okay uh th thanks ross kevin yeah cer certainly there's a, certainly there's a lot of unknown and ross uh, i just wanted to say uh, uh 
compliments to you and all the work that you've done in Gray's Lake with that uh, that uh, whole village. Uh, uh, yeah, that is work presentation. That, thank you. That is working out out pretty good. And of course, nobody's open right now. But uh, no, <laughs> so, no, exactly. But uh, but yeah. wonderful wonderful work. Thank you. I've shared it with P. I'm from the Chicago area originally. My wife and I both, and uh, so I know. I know Gray's Lake a little bit, and it's wonderful what you've done there. Oh, great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Kevin, you got some tips for us? Yeah, I, I think it's a watershed moment for virtuality. For, uh, I think it's a watershed moment for uh, virtual uh, work. Uh, people have always questioned or tried to understand what a digital twin, twin means, um, and they're realizing it now, the importance of it. So... It, 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 it's almost like there is a, a, a disruption now caused by the virus, but they're realizing the importance now of, yeah, we, we need a backup. We need a virtual, a digital twin of our existence. Uh, whether it's a building, a construction site, a uh, under construction program, you name it, BIM, CAD, uh, all of it. Um, it. It's looking at the virtual existence so we can keep going. Uh, so this has this is disrupted today, but tomorrow, yeah, we will be the survivors and we will be the guys that provide the the pitchforks and the and the diggers that enable the digital twin to exist. And um, and okay, so we're not scanning today or tomorrow. Uh, I haven't scanned for two weeks, but I, I do believe that long term there's going to be a, a digital transformation. Uh, reason why we are doing what we do. A digital transformation is a phrase that's been around for three or four years, maybe longer. Um, but now people are starting to wake up. And I think that's the opportunity. It might not be now because we have to look after our nearest and dearest. But di digital transformation now becoming uh, the norm. And we are now in a space of providing a virtual digital twin for which we will continue to exist and be able be relied upon, whether it's rescue mission, whether it's disaster relief or architecture or selling homes for, for estate agents. So some good's going to come out of this really bad, um, but what are you doing in the meantime? What, what do you, uh, you, you are, are obviously at home. Uh, yeah. what, what kind of tips you got for, for those? Yeah, they, um, at, at the moment, um, uh, what I'm doing with my time, because I chose not to, uh, uh, my business is quite diversified in the, in the, in the digital business. We build websites, uh, we do uh, virtual staging, we do architectural renders and CGIs. So the Matterport scanning side of the business is about 20, 20, 20 to 25% revenue. Um, so I've had to, I've had to diversify. Uh, and I was always when I started out in, in the business plan. If I was purely Matterport, I'd be, uh, you know, I'd be, I'd be worried. Um, but um, I, I think it is an opportunity to look at virtual staging. It's an opportunity to look at how can I use this technology and this camera to help others, uh, so that when uh, we we are allowed access to offices or to those premises that are now currently locked down, we're the first in. So um, yeah, today what I'm doing, I'm building some websites, Dan, and I'm uh, doing some CGI architectural renders. I'm turning the Matterpack uh, uh, cloud point file, the .xyz thing that you can download off Matterpack. I'm helping architects get more access to data. So um, I am relying on, on the Matterport tech to uh, expand my business. Okay, so I, I think the tip that I my takeaway from that Angus is diversification is uh, what other business could uh, we do that that is not necessarily out in the field. Um, uh, Chris, Gordon, uh, Kevin, is, is there a, another piece of business that you're doing that doesn't require you to go out of the house? And, 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 and agreeably, 3D floor plans, they're, they're really popular at the moment. You can get them quickly off the floor plan and go 3D. Architects love them. Um, so it's a case of looking at what, what, what have we got? And how can we cut it up and cook it differently? Mm -hmm. I think if I can top in, I think what I'm going to do is for my new like hack, I think it's a good segue. I 
uh, I talked to the owner of the Keller Williams office that my mother um, works for, and she's got a lot of offices too. So they're, everyone's pretty concerned how this is gonna work out. Um, so if we can't even go out, um, I'm gonna do my best to, to make new contacts, share this information, show them that there is an opportunity for you to really connect with the customer and the agent in a live format. And if they don't have a Matterport virtual tour, they can certainly use what assets they do have, even if that's pictures. And that's where salesmanship, I think, is really gonna come out. And I yeah. think it is a watershed moment for a lot of us. I think if it's eventually gonna make us better, but if I do go out, I'm certainly gonna wear a mask, I'm gonna wear gloves. Um, I Thank God I, I did some shopping three months ago when I was remodeling my house, otherwise I wouldn't have any masks. Well, so. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the, the takeaway that you're going to be working on business development. You're, that this, this, this is not necessarily yeah. downtime for you. This is time to uh, ratchet up business development. And you have one particular tactic that you're working on, which is the, the mashup of uh, Zoom, which we use for WGA and TV right. and Matterport, Zoom plus Matterport as a way to, to conduct a virtual uh, open house for the agent to even be present during that. Exactly. Um, Gordon, uh, 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 how about you? What, what are you gonna be doing with this uh, now that you're, you're home? <laughs> yeah, good, great questions. Um, and I think Chris is onto something uh, with, his, with his idea. I reached out to him earlier. He was kind enough to give me a phone number and I wanna talk to him. But uh, I think if we need to step back, yeah, when we get through all this and we will get through all this, um, we need to start really broadening our scope as to what other offerings that we can do. I mean, you got these small retail businesses that have no internet presence. This is a great way now, but you know, a small, let's say organic store, let's walk through the store. You can order, people deliver. Look at your educational opportunities, museums, art galleries, that kids, because let's face it, this is going to change education. I think we're going to start seeing more home uh, bound education, uh, colleges with more online, um, even greater than what we're seeing now. So you take a group of you know, six year olds that want to go tour some uh, historic museum. Let's go online and take a look at it. Um, you know, I'm talking to people in the banking industry. This is radically going to change the banking industry. It's all going to go online. It's going to go ATM. The branches are not going to are going to become non-existence about you know staffing and all this other type of thing. Um, any restaurant that didn't have offered delivery service is probably going to think twice and start offering that now. Um, I just see there's a in businesses, um, you know, economic development with cities uh, trying to showcase some buildings to maybe overseas customers that want to come here and set up a manufacturing. Um, I think there's going to be a huge opportunity for all of us so, and the real estate market. So Gordon, I, I, I hear you in terms of the, the world is going to be transformed, a transformation in this, out of this bad comes good because of this, getting people to use technology that, that haven't before. Um, but what kind of tips you got today for, for somebody who is uh, 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 not going out They're They're yeah. in a, um, shelter in place, or maybe as, as Angus pointed out, whether you got the shelter in place order or not, you're home. So what, yeah. what, what tips you got for somebody that's uh, trying to yeah. cope with COVID? Yeah, this is a great time. I think Chris hit it on the head to start ratcheting up uh, you know, business development, um, making the calls. You've talked to, we've all talked to people in the past that were kind of on the fence. This is a great uh, you know, situation to say, hey, I mean, this is a wake up call for all of us. Let's, let's get together. Let's talk on the phone, let's do, you know, whatever talk about going forward there's some different ideas and get some stuff lined up so when we do that on the other side you're hitting the ground and you're running uh colin what what's your team doing in uh in west palm beach are they still out scanning or you're, you're anticipating stopping that shortly um well the funny thing is is that uh we don't we don't have one single uh solitary uh, Matterport, uh booked this for the entire week so, um, I don't so know what... photos and video and and aerial for you. Yeah. Um, well, my guys, my guys have been told don't um, don't get within six feet of anybody. If 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 an agent starts to follow you around, then you've got to tell them that you know I'm sorry, but um, you know you can't you can't be close to me. Um, they got masks. They. Um, they're told not to touch anything whatsoever. 
I mean, not not the countertop, not a door handle, nothing. Um, you know, when when they when they arrive at the property, they're, they're to tell the agent you know, make sure all doors are open so that they don't have to touch anything. And um, and so basically, they're in. They're, they're actually they're they're told that they not to do any any kind of filming or any photography or anything unless everybody's in one room with the door shut. So that, that so that they don't have to touch anything whatsoever. They're not in the proximity of anybody, um, and so they, you know, that's that's how that's how they're dealing with it. I've also told them if they don't want to work, they don't have to at all. Uh, what kind, uh, kind of tips do you have for for June? She's she's up in a small town in Canada. Uh, she's in a shelter in place market. Uh, what does she do with her downtime? I think uh, there's she's educating herself we can't be any better than that i mean if you've got a lot of time in your hands no point in just uh sitting around so um you know any kind of education of any uh, or, or market do some marketing for when this thing is is over yeah i'll speak uh, to that dan okay uh, what, what one of the things that i'm finding here because i've been doing matterport for about four years now three and a half four years and uh, finding my uh, finding more and more clients are attracted to 360 tours instead of Matterport. Uh, so I've been putting a lot of time, and this is going to give me a, uh, an opportunity more, being being at home to uh, to study the different 360 platforms. Um, I've been experimenting with iSpy thanks to the uh, arrangement that you set up, Dan, uh, and. And I've been looking into 3D Vista and other formats. Uh, you know, in the last couple of days, I've for the first time tried out the live tour capability of uh, iSpy 360, which uh, <clears throat> I've I've found some little bugs in it, but it's still but it still it does work. And um, so this is a great opportunity to uh, to to learn the new technology. The, 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 the thing I fear most when presented with new software is the time that it will take to learn how to use it. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it takes mo moments to download some software, but it'll take you days or weeks uh, until you can use it uh, quickly and professionally enough to, uh, you know, to, to deliver as a product. So my, my takeaway from you there, Kevin, is uh, this is a good time to shoot your house over and over again with different platforms so using a different camera and a different platform in order to see perhaps how that compares the matter. Yeah, Imagine yeah, and I'm, I'm also, uh, since I've been shooting 360s, of course Matterport shoots 360s, but uh, I've, I've shot Nodal View <clears throat> and I have a Z1 and uh, this is giving me an opportunity to take sets of those panos and try them in different software, to try them in iSpy, to try them in 3D Vista. Okay, Let, let's go back to Colin. He's waving his hand. Oh, sorry, I, I was only waving my hand because I have to. I have to go now, so I didn't want to interrupt. Um, okay, uh, uh, Colin, thanks for joining us for the for the call. Please be safe, and uh, 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 thank thanks for uh, your, your tips on the show today too. You're welcome. Thank you, Dan. Okay, thanks, Colin. Bye bye. Uh, so. Uh, aside from uh, Matterport, I mean, just what's the everyday life uh, stuff? Uh, you know, are, are you finding it's hard to, to buy stuff locally? Are you, uh, is it uh, a little bit of tension in the household with now maybe the kids are back from college and are in your house? Uh, what, what's going on on the, just the personal side of dealing with this? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Dan, yeah. Uh, the, the, so the, the local shop closed because it was being inundated. Uh, by uh, other towns coming in because they realized they were open. Um, there's been um, uh, panic buying, uh, bulk buying, all that kind of thing, uh, queues around um, supermarkets. Uh, so people are uh, stockpiling. Yeah, it, it's like a, a, a nuclear warfare thing going on. Um, and um, so yeah, it, it's it's concerning. We, we we're now on a lockdown for three weeks. The prime minister said, if you go out your house, you're going to get a fine. Let's go. You get you've got to go out to get food, so you're not going to get fined for going shopping, are you? No, but we'll be fined if we're more than two people. More than two. So you, you uh, even if your wife was was healthy, you couldn't go with her. You'd have to go alone to the to the store. Yeah, yeah. 
And and how about in in the in in the UK? Do you have uh, you have food deliveries that are uh, are you ordering online? And yeah, you, you you can go online. You can get the food delivery uh, and things like that. Um, but they are subject to to supply lines too. So uh, the distribution. So key workers are the key. So, so key workers are defined as uh, people who are a part of providing essential uh, resources. So there'll be staff, the NHS, the National Health Service, service the, the, the staff, the doctors and nurses, uh, truckers, truck drivers uh, who, are, who are delivering food. As a key worker, um, you are enabled uh, to get to work. Um, if I had my Matterport camera and I'm off to a house to scan, I'm not a key worker. If I'm caught by the police and fined. Got it. June, uh, 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 gosh, my heart goes out to you in a small town. You're, you're, you're 100 of your business has, has been as a service provider. What, what, what's your plan? At the moment, it's just sheltering in place, only going to the like the pharmacy to pick up prescriptions and necessities. Our grocery stores are still open um, in our pharmacies, of course, but uh, even there, like they have restrict a lot of restrictions, like the grocery store, you can only buy two loaves of bread. Um, and they, but the, one of the nice things that they have done is they, the first hour of the morning, they have strictly just for senior citizens, which is good because um, as Angus was saying, the people are are buying like crazy and the seniors are going to the store and not even being able to get toilet paper. It's kind of crazy. Angus, thank you for uh, letting us know what's going on in the UK because I do, I, I do get the sense from here that you are several weeks ahead of us. And it's, it's sobering and educate, educating to, to hear what's going on. Okay, no, thanks, yeah, because it's a bit serious because you know, it's all about reporting um, test stats if you're tested positive. If you don't have the test tests, then you can't qualify as got it. Right. And I'm afraid the US hasn't got the tests. There are, there are not enough tests. So we're, it, it, the, the statistics are based on what's captured. And there's not enough tests out there to capture everyone. And this has been going on since November, in the Brazilian carnival. Uh, you know, Brazilian, Brazil is highly infected, but they don't know it because there's not enough tests. So yeah, it, same here. You know, so it's like we, we don't know what we don't know. Right. You know, it's one of those. I know for, for me, my, my wife and I are uh, sheltering in place, even though in, the, in Atlanta, in Georgia, that's not uh, necessarily the requirement. Uh, but my mom uh, lives in a senior living community about 10 minutes from us. I can't, we can't go visit her. And so uh, unfortunately, I've been to the hospital uh, twice uh, related to some emergencies with her in the last uh, three weeks. Uh, she's doing fine, but um, you know uh, we've been to the hospital, so we don't want to infect anybody if we pick something out up. And I know we want to stay in place so that uh, we know that we're—I uh, don't know what the right word would be—clean. If in the event there was an emergency with my mom, that we could actually go over, and uh, if we, uh, in an emergency situation, had to be able to go into her senior living community, that we weren't. Uh, harming her in particular or the rest of the senior living community. So uh, um, we're doing everything we can not to go out. Uh, Amazon is our best friend, uh, uh, ordering everything that we possibly can or, or, or need. Uh, and, and that's uh, been, a, and I've noticed the challenge, you can't get everything from, or at least we can't get everything that we've tried to order from Amazon. Um, but uh, we're, we're inside. Um, we're not going anyplace. I, I, I will say we go for a walk every day. Uh, so we look forward to that after today's show, we'll go for a walk. Um, and I notice there's a lot more people out walking and everybody seems to be really good about staying away from yeah, each other. Same here. Uh, so a lot of people out walking. 
a lot of people out walking uh, and staying away from each other. What, what kind of, uh, you know, we got a, a group of uh, five or six of us on, on, on the call here. What kind of questions do you want to ask among yourselves? Anything you want to reach out to anyone else? We, we were out walking at the weekend. We're not allowed to do that anymore. Mm. I'm afraid, yeah. That's just what we've been told now. Not even just to go for a walk? Uh, no, no. And if we were in the park, the, the scenes that you saw in uh, Regent's Park, Hyde Park, uh, people going for a walk, no, Boris has said no more. Game no over. More walks. Hmm. Yeah, in Los Angeles, they uh, it was just today or yesterday that uh, they found that people were, the, the sense was still that it was safe to be outside. Therefore, there were lots of people showing up at the beach uh, and public places. Uh, they have now shut down, in order to stop people going uh, to, to the ocean, they have closed all of the city parking lots uh, at the beaches. Uh, they've shut down uh, the parking lot said the Venice board, boardwalk, which I'm sure you've all seen pictures of, which is a major congregating place. Uh, they haven't yet started finding people or anything like that, but they're definitely, it, it's a strange time. Uh, Los Angeles has a, a huge freeway systems and, you know, the freeway closest to me is six lanes. That's each side of the freeway is six lanes wide. And there's, there's, as many cars on it as you'd find at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, the air is clearer than it's been in years in Los Angeles as a result of people not driving. Uh, so there's a there's a plus side. But uh, um, have any questions that you want to ask uh, Gordon or Angus, Chris or June? Boy, I don't know. It's a, it's it's there's a, it's just a big unknown. Uh, what to do here. But uh, well, we can all educate ourselves. And I, I do agree with, I think it was Angus, that uh, this, this experience is making people more aware of what we all do. Uh, and I expect that when things get back to normal, or presuming that they do, uh, that uh, there will be much greater awareness here. They, the last call I got was from an agent who had got my name from another agent that I'd worked for and was asking, he started out by saying, says, I've never done any sign of a virtual tour, you know, Matterport or three, 360s or anything. He said, but, you know, tell me about them because I guess I should learn. And th this greater awareness is probably going to be beneficial to all of us when this time has uh, run its course. Okay, thanks, Kevin. A anybody want to ask anyone else questions? Well, yeah, Chris. Yeah, so, so I'm in New York and I, I think the governor of New York has actually done a really good job, very, been very proactive. You know, there's never a, a perfect scenario. And the last thing you want to be doing as a leader is to be tasked with managing all this because, you know, there's always somebody who's going to blame anybody. But I think um, just a, a positive mental attitude in these times are, can, be, can be obtained a little bit more when you minimize your exposure to the media. Um, I told my, my, my mom's like 70, my dad's 80. So, and they always watch the headline news thing and they're it's 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 like the world's coming to an end um i highly encourage people to shut off the tv or watch something different um the other night my girlfriend recommended me to do that because it was a, about four or five days ago it was it was up to the top and and it was just i couldn't handle it anymore and she said just watch music videos so i got re-familiarized with led zeppelin and watched led zeppelin videos for about three hours so um you just stay away from the media too much it's 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 it's, it's hard and heavy um and we could we could do other things but i like to listen twice as much as talk but i appreciate hearing everybody today okay cool and, and uh, before we wrap up anyone else want to uh, ask anyone else a question you know i just think uh you know for all of us in this business uh, we thinking about when we go into people's homes wear the booties maybe the gloves because i mean this is just not about what's going on now this is about flu staph infection c diff uh you know, any type of virus that we're walking into and, uh, and clean the equipment. I mean, for those of us, you know, you used to take the camera down, put it in a box, take it back home, then open it back up and go to the next project. Uh, now we need to think about wiping the equipment down after we're done. Yeah. Yep. Angus, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to let you do the final thought. Cause I, I, I think you got some important, powerful things to say, and I want to give you that opportunity. Uh, before we do that, I, I just want to kind of 
uh, go through a list of what I heard today is maybe some tips for Matterport service providers coping with COVID, uh, not in any order, just as I heard them today. Uh, opportunity for social media marketing. Uh, um, uh, diversify your business. If you're not already uh, diversified, start thinking about what other things that you can do that don't require you to be physically someplace else. Uh, a, a general, this is a time for business development, if you can. Um, uh, uh, number four, education. So if there's any kind of education or learning opportunities, um, I would certainly uh, mention the uh, WGAN TV training you hours of courses and, and there's 35 plus courses that are totally free. Um, so I would mention that go to the we get around network forum WGAN forum.com look for the tab training uh, 35 plus courses free. Um, the so education, uh, I guess that would tie into study. Um, I think a subset of training, which I'm, what I heard from Kevin was hands on uh, learn new stuff. Uh, so that might mean uh, scanning your home, whether that's with Matterport or maybe Matterport plus Rico Theta Z or, or some, some other. So uh, hands on learning. Um, uh, I think, uh, uh, Chris, you've mentioned a positive mental attitude. Uh, I think so. So uh, have a positive mental attitude. This We will get through this, as difficult as it may be. Um, we'll get through it. Uh, I think you've also mentioned less media. So I think media, you're referring to things like uh, the news, though you did mention a, a different form of media that you might encourage, which would be uh, uh, Led Zeppelin. So uh, uh, be one of the one of the tips from today is uh, listen to more Led Zeppelin, rock out with Led Zeppelin. Uh, and then I think the, the the last tip I heard that is if you are scanning, and I think we're going to hear from Angus a, a plea not to do that. But if you are scanning, uh, be safe either in terms of your person or your gear or both uh, is, is practice, uh, safety. That's why I think one of the, you know, go back to you, Angus is, is to have the, uh, the last word here to kind of, uh, you should have done. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think it's, uh, it's very easy to go and scan today if you, if you want to, but, uh, I think it'd be the wrong decision. Um, I think there's an opportunity for us to, to be responsible and to take action. Uh, there's today and there's tomorrow today, choose to diversify your business. There's opportunities within this technology as a virtual operator to diversify. Tomorrow, apply it. Um, so if you stay as a Matterport camera operator uh, and continue to scan in people's homes, the virus will stick. It will stick on it and, and you and your camera and your car and your gloves and whatever, wherever you go. And that is dangerous. You're gonna affect others without knowing. You, you, you will come and go and remain healthy but that virus will travel. Uh, so as of today, I don't scan. As of tomorrow, my clients know that I've taken responsibility to diversify and be there and to realize that they need a digital twin. They need us. They need a digital twin because if this is gonna happen again and they're gonna need us to scan those properties. So we will get business by being responsible today. So I believe that um, let's not scan, as, as painful as it is, because we need the income. Uh, but ask your government for help. Uh, there are grant, grants and loans out there to help us go. Um, but be remembered as the person that didn't scan. Uh, and we chose not to and be responsible and tell them the importance of being and creating a digital twin, because this will happen again. Uh, and this is when they will need us. So we are become we will become the Meta Sounds on Frontier, the first call uh, when homes cannot be accessed. Uh, and it's like, let's get that Matterport scan out. We've had it done because we phoned Kevin, we phoned Chris, we phoned Angus, you know, uh, you know, we got that done. Take the worry away. Uh, and I think we can preempt this and learn from this. The virus will not go away soon. And I think it's now as a Matterport operator, um, as a company Matterport ha have come under stick, uh, but 
Um, it's not it's not their problem. It's not their issue. The technology is now in our hands, okay, and we can deliver. So I would think today be responsible, and tomorrow um, scan for the future. Thank you. And I, I guess I would just leave two more thoughts because I think it, it was almost across the board, which everyone said is uh, uh, we, we're going to find that uh, this is a transformational event uh, as it affects virtual tours in the future. Is that all, all the people who uh, were technology phobic uh, or are now going to find out that they embrace technology and this is a great thing. So uh, we're, we're going through a, a terrible uh, time around the globe uh, and no one wishes to benefit from COVID-19, from coronavirus. Um, but I think it's obvious to all of us that technology is transforming the world uh, in unexpected ways, even Zoom. Uh, uh, um, you know, I, uh, I'm Jewish. I would normally have a Passover Seder with many friends in April, and uh, we're already in the midst of planning a, a virtual Seder via Zoom uh, with family and friends. So, I mean, it, and our friends who have maybe never ever used Zoom will find that it's an amazing platform and they will continue to use it uh, in ways just as uh, that will happen with uh, Matterport uh, tours in particular, virtual tours in general. And so I, uh, I think there'll be some good that will come out of this. I think the, the last thing I, I think probably speaking for all of us, Angus, we heard that your wife has the coronavirus and our, our hearts go out to you. And I, and I understand you're challenged with, with your own personal health, even being around her. So our thoughts are with you and your wife at this uh, very challenging time. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, thank you all, Angus, Kevin, uh, Gordon, Chris, June, and, um, and uh, Colin, who was with us er earlier. Thanks for joining us on this uh, special WGAN-TV Live at Five. Uh, I, uh, I, I hope you all are safe, you, your loved ones, uh, and uh, th thanks for particip participating in the show today. Thanks all. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan.